Okay, Thirst, another Korean horror thriller. This one's a bit more on the bizarre side, because it doesn't really fall that much into like a thriller horror side, but... You have a priest who essentially kind of goes to a leper colony, for lack of a better term, because he has a disease similar to what they do. And they're trying a new form of treatment. This treatment actually turns him kind of into a vampire. If he doesn't drink the blood, doesn't drink new blood, his sores come back, and his sores can eventually lead to, you know, like, coughing blood, and, you know, so that part ends up being more of the, the violent, bloody side of it. But he's also going through other kind of psychological changes. You know, he actually does partake in a small amount of infidelity. And that's where this story takes a really different turn. <clears throat> where a woman he actually loves, he kind of inadvertently kills. Feeling guilty for, the, for killing her brings her back as a vampire. Now while he's doing the, I'll just say mercy killing side of vampire, vampirism, she is going out and like hunting people. Of course, and then he believes that those two are actually fighting each other. And it's not your standard kind of, you know, like, wire work, so when they show them flying, it is a really beautiful, like, smooth transitional flight. So it almost kind of has a slight twilight feel to it, because she kind of liked him, but then he became a vampire, and then she had more overtones of actually, you know, loving him more. And then he, in turn, turns her into a vampire to kind of save her life. So it's kind of like Twilight, only in that aspect, but it's good, so therefore it's nothing like Twilight. The action sequences and the ending, again, is also done very well. The weird thing about Korean movies, with it being about a shade over two hours, they get a lot in. You know, you have the priest going through the psychological transition from being a regular holy man to trying to come to grips with the, you know, the beast inside of him. So you've got that aspect, which by itself could be a movie. You've got the straight interpersonal relationships of a woman who's not really happy in her marriage with a guy who's just on kind of a whack job and their family. And that almost could be its own individual story. And then you combine the two, it's actually really deep. Ironically, I could not, I'm glad this movie hasn't been redone for the American audience, because it would have to be severely chopped. Because there's a lot going on in this movie, like most Korean movies that I've seen. You know, so trying to sum up as briefly as possible without throwing any small surprises here and there. So if you want to see a movie that takes the idea of a vampire and makes it, I will say, notably less sexy. You know, this is a guy who spent his whole life helping people and is now kind of a predator, but is trying to still help people while still also kind of trying to keep the predator and the beast inside of him at bay. And then turning someone who he loves, who then just entirely embraces the bestial side and then having to square off against her. You know, all in all, really, really solid work.